Congratulations for making it to the last module. In this module, you will pull together all of the elements and evidence of your business idea to develop a coherent and succinct business pitch. So what makes a good pitch? Context, content, and delivery all matter. By context, we mean knowing who is your audience. A product pitch to customers is different to an investor pitch. Also, know what you want. Emphasize what would interest your audience, but be specific about what you are asking them for. Also, know how much time you have. You may only have 5 to 10 seconds for a business card swap, under a minute for an elevator pitch, or 3 to 5 minutes for a pitch competition, or longer if doing a boardroom presentation. The content of a good investor presentation needs to convince investors of three things. First, show how your idea is supported by a strong value proposition. Using the evidence you collected from the second module, demonstrate that you actually know which features are most relevant to your customers and what they think of your product. Second, show how your idea can generate a profit. How are you going to make money? Have you validated the net profit margin? How big is the market? How fast can you grow with the investor support? Third, show that you have the capability to execute your idea. How passionate or committed are you to the idea? What relevant experience and context do you have, including the mentor for this course? The third point is crucial for the early stage investors who invest in good business ideas and moreover in outstanding people. They invest in you. For each of these three things, it's immensely important to demonstrate traction, whether qualitatively or with hard metrics. Lastly, good delivery is equally important. Be concise. You should be able to say what you do in the first one or two sentences. Be confident. No one knows more about your idea than you. However, practice makes perfect. By pitching often, you get more feedback, but you also improve on how to articulate your ideas. Common errors include having too many verbal tics like ums and ahs, or reading from notes or not I making eye contact. Pitches should also not be speeches or monologues. Take as many questions as you can. Here's a pro tip. If you can anticipate some questions, have backup slides ready for question and answer time after your pitch. Also, cosmetics matter. Avoid spelling errors or other signs of sloppiness. Use graphical prototypes, wireframes, or even physical mockups that can bring your story to life. As with your opening statement about what you do, have a clear closing statement about what you are asking for, even if you're only asking for feedback. So your final activity for this module is twofold. First, update your business model canvas according to your previous iterations and evidence you've collected. Second, develop a three-minute pitch for your business idea that is aimed at a potential investor.